Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Joel. You're surely back with another video, and today we're playing some countless offlane. So it's been a while since I last unplayed um, her, because with the release of Shinbi, I kind of focused her on a lot, and then by the time I got some good gains with her and all that, then came like the really big AC patch. I've been focusing on that a lot, so I haven't really played countless just because there's just so much new content I have to kind of get through. So. I kind of want to try to pick her up, kind of see how she feels, because I did play her on my one of my previous live streams, and she was feeling pretty good because the change mega caused them to where it sort of seems like it was a nerf sort of ish. It just it got changed to where how you park the bonus like HP damage is a little bit different, as you guys can see right here. It's not like you can mo do multiple parks on the same ability now. It's it it kind of parks when you do separate ability while they're affected by one of your other ability. So. It kind of stop abusive cases where one ability can practice like five or six times, that kind of thing is what I think they were trying to do with it. So I kind of tested with her in the last five live stream and she had, her damage actually felt the same ish. I can't tell if it got better or worse, but either way, her power her power spike is still the is still the mega cause them and all that good stuff. So she's still really slapping pretty hard, so kind of still be still a very scary vampire. So we're gonna be going against the Shinbi, I believe, because that should be a Grux jungle unless Shinbi is jungling. I think most now, mo mo now most of the time Shinbi you only see on the off lane. A lot of people kind of, I think someone's, yeah, it's a Shinbi off lane right there. Nice, so right now my wave is in a pretty good spot. Oh, she can't be walking up like this. Cause I'll just do, yeah. Just coin this right there. Nice, let's go. I think it's a little fortunate because I think the last part of the web buff actually got her. So my coin's technically blank for nothing right there. But that was still very good pressure by him. It kind of punch the Shinbi pushing the lane like that. Do the books over there. So now I think she's not gonna be stepping up at this point. So she's only gonna be stepping up um, when she thinks she can get a good trade on me. Just trying to be aggressive to kind of do chunky trades with her whenever I, I can. Dude, that's no blink by the way, and she always uses her dash, so even though I'm kind of a scaling assassin, definitely don't underestimate the kill threat of any offlaner kind of thing. Because a lot of it comes down to wave management and like what cooldowns are up kind of thing. So right now, I'm just trying to get the shove in and be fight back. I may actually be able to get the teal buff. I think I do enough damage to it. You know, there's actually consideration for me to stay long in the lane, but I do want to start stacking my Alchemist Wall sooner than later, so I'm gonna build that and then just kind of walk back the lane now. Because when you can start um, stacking your Alchemist Wall, is when um, you can start to do a lot more different trades. Because you can actually go through your mana pretty fast on Count's off lane, but as soon as you start burning your Alchemist Wall and get that bonus mana, you can have a lot more mana to work with to where you can have it for both. I'm um, hitting the wave and trading with the opponent kind of thing. So we saw Grux on this side, so I'm gonna let this wave push up to me. 
I wanna give it the back line so it doesn't trim through my um way too quickly. Because right now I'm trying to hit my E on her and on the wave whenever I, I can. Because that's how I can slowly kind of chunk her to where I can um, finish her off eventually pretty easily. Oh, okay, that's not left me. Grux is on the left side, so I'm actually chilling on this side. And now she has no E, so I can take these um, all the attack traits with her actually. Because technically, um, she should be hitting more on the auto attacks than me. But the fact is, um, I'm playing around with cooldowns. So I'm able to do these longer kind of trades really good. I think I actually have threat to kill her. Yep. I do. Because, um, she was kind of, she's a kind of squishy, um, K-pop star. And I'm a very scary, um, vampire lady. So that's how I was able to kind of finish her off. So usually Countless can struggle in a lot of matchups because in the way I see it is when you play Countless offlane you're expecting to play from behind essentially. Like a, like imagine going against the Grux, the Crunch, the Steel, you're not going to have that much lane pressure really. They're going to have very good trades against you so the only thing you can do is try to hit them from afar and try to make sure you don't get caught out. But with Shinbi it's a little interesting how the matchup can go. But Shinbi can take really good trades against the Countless. But like, um, the thing is, she's sort of squishy, so counts can like her builders can hurt her pretty hard. So it matters who playing it's ma it matters who is playing the cooldowns um better. It's what how this matchup goes because her using E like that means I can just walk, I can just um do this and just go for these longer trades and not get punished for it. This should be the very sustaining final now. Now that I kind of think about it more, so Kyle is very good going for quick trades. Well, it shouldn't be has to take longer trades for it to be good, kind of thing. And because of um, Countless um, Q interaction, where you can go in, go out very quickly, you can take very favorable trades really easily. So the only way the Shimmy could maybe punish me is if she hold on to an arm B when I use my Q, and then just arm B on top of me and just go for the longer trade. But so far, she's been very not so great using her abilities. Well, so I've been able to like punish her really easily whenever I see her use her E or her arm um, B kind of thing. That's what's been going on. We made it back, I think. So I'm gonna be looking to shove this lane out. Oh, Miss Sassius. Cause I probably, I do really need the back right now so I can take the teal buff and actually um, keep pushing for the time being. Your skill rises. Yeah, I really don't need to because I just have so much pressure right now. This, uh, this should be really not a threat to me at all. Oh, this Grux is though. I saw that he's walking towards me so I was able to kind of just do that. Cause now he get he's a very slow Rhino, he has nowhere to catch up to me. So I'm actually gonna Allied Tower under attack. So what Shimmy should be trying to do is she should should I be holding the wave? Because since Grux is here, me trying to step up to wave can be risky kinda of thing, right? But the but she kept pushing the wave, so she never frees it towards her turn at all. Because like like because she's shoving this, um, the Grux, I've been able to really space out this Grux pretty easily. It's a thing. Because he's trying to look to kind of look me, but I can really outspace him pretty easily. Because Shimmy has no like CC or anything to kind of help um the Grux get on top of me. That's kind of like the one downside of Shimmy offlane. She has no real way to keep people locked down for the jungle or mid lane to kind of fall up more easily.
I think they're fine, so I'm gonna keep pushing and see if we can do a lot of damage to T1 here in the sec. I can maybe actually knock it down because I have a big wave right now. Yeah, I should be able to knock this down here in a sec because no one is contesting me on this. Nice. Is he walking this way? Oh, nice shot. Alright, yeah, I don't need to be here at all. So now I'm just gonna grab Mega Cosm and I'm gonna be in a pretty good spot because now that's my huge power spike I've been waiting for. So let's grab that. And I'm gonna grab Wave Leggings. Because usually you can, um, better way to build most like APs, um, characters, so Mega Cosm and then finish a so called second. But I would have liked waste like in second because it grants me the movement speed to be able to, able to like weave in and out very easily kind of thing. So I like would like going waste like in second just for the utility and the kind of damage. She's actually on this, so I'm gonna just punish her for it. I'll blame for this and just do that. Because I don't mind losing the tier buff because I know just as soon as I can get on top of her, I can just instantly shut her down. I do have blink ultimate, so it's going to be kind of tricky for me to try the glyph of picks. But I think I'm still going to try. Because right now, I'm just kind of taking my time because I know Quirk is trying to look for me. Because right now, I'm just playing the poking game. Because I try to look at the Fang tools, it's the reason why I'm kind of hanging around here. Okay. Are they actually trying? There's no way they're actually gonna be trying to do it because they're kind of oomph and my team is back here already. Yeah. Wait, attack. Yeah, let's just push out for you. Nice. Now we can just go for painters pretty easily. Let's go. And that is why I really, really like countless for those kind of situations, because I didn't have the power to all in on people, but I, I have to use the damage and the um, elusiveness to really outspace the people, um, right kind of thing. Okay, I'm not gonna actually push on there, but I do have to back. Because Kaos is kind of like the best character for doing stuff like that, where you can throw your like hit, hard hitting abilities from afar while still having really good elusiveness. While in the offlane, because um, other characters like Gadget, Gideon, and then like Houses, they're obviously really good with that kind of stuff. But they're not like offlaners, technically. Um, I know people sometimes like to take it, like a, those kind of mid laners in the offlane, but they're not the well suited kind of thing, in my opinion, of course. So. Countless is for like, we're talking about like actual like offlaners, Countless is probably the best as kind of stoning people from afar and looking for good picks kind of thing like that. Because Shinbi could technically do that too with her Q, but it doesn't, it's not like as hard hitting or rather she doesn't have as much elusiveness, at least in my opinion, when people get on top of her. Because once you're on top of the Shinbi, you can easily stay on top of her even when she has a double dash. Oh wow. It's 
So then we're actually able to do the mini. I think the Grux is the one that got it, so... I'm actually so much stronger than this Grux that I may just look to actually invade him. Actually, so I want to see if there's, he's somewhere on the blue side jungle. Oh, actually, I'm going to look at the right because she's... Oh, that was very weird. Oh wow, I was not a my cooldowns were a little bit too long, so I was not able to really um out juke because I used everything on my um uh, what do you call on the Shimbi, so I didn't have a way to turn around on that book. So it's definitely my bad. I thought I can live a, a little bit longer than that, but maybe I should walk towards my crunch to kind of help out with that. Oh, nice cleanse, but I think he's. He sh tried to shoot while on the tower, so he took some tower aggro right there, as you guys saw. So now they're looking like they're trying to push for the white tower. Yeah, because um, they were shut down my left, so they're making the push right there. So maybe how we can get the mid knocked down. Actually, they might be looking at him. We definitely have the fame tools in our favor, so we can play for objectives, and I think we'll be chilling. Oh, right, yeah, right now they're trying to just. Now they're just roaming and tr looking for picks like that. So I probably can't even, like, push for much longer. I think I have to try to see if I can roam around a little bit. Because, yeah, he's. Hmm. I can lock down this gadget. Push it. I'm just ulting her so she doesn't use her ultimate on this because I think if she'd use that, it'll be kind of scary to fight her long in this. So I just want to bust her down before she can drop anything. Someone was right here. Okay, it was a Shinbi. So right now, I'm keeping an eye out for the Grux. Oh, yeah. So let's see. I'm actually gonna go over here. True, they might be actually looking at me potentially. Because I don't see them like on the main map at all. They could be literally roaming to me right now. I, I need to crunch. Yeah, I see right there. They were looking for me, so I made the right call to back off. Okay, now, now I think I can start sipping up. Someone is, someone is still there. I think that's the Grux, I think. Wow, they're actually trying to do this? Yeah, I don't know why he's over here. This literally a faint is about to be up. I can, I can honestly chase it down. Oh wow. You know what, I can still maybe. Yep. Because I got the movement speed from Soul Bear, so I'm able to kind of catch up. I think Grux is literally going to run straight at this, so I sort of need to match that. Plus, I'm staying on some very big items. Yeah, that's a very big bag. So now I'm going to be doing way more damage. So I could maybe go for the T2, but I really want to make sure they're not trying to do any funny business on the Fang 2s with them spawning back in. Okay. So they probably didn't even need me, but I didn't want to push much longer because I was way stronger if I just back right now. I can let's see. The feast is prepared. Yeah, so now I'm pretty confident with just looking to muck this book, so I think that's what I shall do.
I don't know if the spell is on me or not. Yep, that's how we do it, ladies and gents. But well, now we're just really trying to. Oh. Nice. I have no way to go back in, unfortunately. The Shimbi is looking for some reason. Oh, oh, one HP. Now we just retreat. No, no, no need to push aim more when we already kinda achieve what we set out to do. So I'm actually gonna put one ward on prime. Just be on the safe side. So let's go ahead and do that. The feast is ready. So let's see. I think I'm fine with pushing right now. Yep, I was gonna walk up like that. Right now I'm trying to outspace this. There's no way he can actually walk up to me, so I'm just being really annoying and just trying to keep walking up like this. Hmm. He might be trying to greet for or something, so I'm gonna be walking up with my uh quench. Oh she's on the full stack. He's on the full stack. Let's see if we can maybe just walk up to him. I got his quest out of the way. Oh, and Blink, he's just really scared right now. As he should be. Enemy towers destroyed. So now we want to try to group up a faint too. It's, it's a big plan. I'm going to go life by another. It's always been one of my more favorite items to go and count this. Make a baby sustaining while still doing plenty of damage. Yeah, essentially, because... Especially since I'm playing offlane counters, I want to be a little bit more durable, so I'll... Team is not too glass candy because usually often it sort of plays as a second kind of one line ish character and counts as the full kind of assassin. Oh, let me see if we can. And he uses um, cleansing early, so there's no way to actually cleanse that. That's the only way he can counter my ultimate. And now we can do Fainters because he is a very. Um, there's a wicked behind the wall, so I'm actually being a little careful. Yeah. Cause he's the one that can really lock me down, not careful. So we're just shoving out lanes for the most part. Cause I think we can um, just get on that melee. My lane is pushing, but I'm just gonna get the mid out push out at least. Cause that lane is actually doing fine. So I might play the zoning game and put so I should like, I need to help DPS this actually. See how guys walking in, so I'm just trying to punish this right now. Dodge that. And I got a bunch of cooldowns off as you guys see.
Oh, I should maybe not tank that that hard. Oh my. Uh, I kind of threw that a little bit. I should um back off because I walked into all five of them and I really didn't got much of my kit off was the big issue right there. So that's definitely kind of my bad. But we got the primal and deny them of that. They can't exactly do um all prime because um they don't really I don't think the spell shimmy can do it just them two. So that, we got that going at the very least. Might be going golem skip for like the anti burst potentially. Or I can do something a bit more hmm, let me think what I wanna do. The feast is prepared. I think I'm just gonna do the standard world breaker because world breaker has some tenacity, so it's a good general statistic while I'm also doing a bit more damage. We do need to ward the old prime. Because it may try to um, burst it down, even without the Shinbi there. So I need to like check. Okay, they're not on it. They're just getting the wards down for that more than anything. Big wave shoving in, they have to answer that. I'm on the prowl. Yeah, they have to answer that eventually so we can start this. Gen B is. So it's gonna be three of them potentially walking in. Yeah, they're not even stepping up for, at all. Nice. I saved my- I was trying to ult him because when he's ulted, he's suppressed, so he can't use any items like the hunt to try to like hunt the old prime. So I was able to kind of stop him pretty good right there. Nice. And now they're kind of dropping one by one. I can go for very good kind of quick trades. Also have a Victor to play well. Yeah, see how I really shunk her health right there? And that's all I need to do. I just need to keep doing that and they'll be too scared to walk up. Oh Alt him because I just want him not him trying to like kill my ADC. Nice. Right now it's only the gadget left. <laughs> oh yeah, I do a lot of damage. The mega custom still even though it's changed, um it's still very, very strong on counts as you guys see. Oh, that caused it to be hurting. Oh, I think we just finished off though. GG's well play. So, I actually just noticed that, um... Oh, actually no. It always been like Mega Costume as a recommend, recommended item for Count's offlane. It swapped back and forth because I think mid lane, they recommend Combustion for her. And then for offlane, they actually recommend Mega Costume. But I still really think that Mega Costume is still count is um best core item for doing a ton of ton of damage. So this has kind of been a good showcase um showing that Count is still very very good in this um current meta. She's definitely a character that can be very easy to punish. She's kind of a little hard to play because against a really good offlaner and certain matchups, they can. Um, have a lot more control in shutting down the countless, especially junglers kind of camping her lane. But the nice thing about countless is that she's always a very, very good scaling kind of champion. So as long as you try to survive the early laning phase and you see yes, um, relatively kind of well, you can scale up and you can stop the really uh, win very, very hard. Cause um, countless will always have that um, unique strength 
of being able to like burst down people really hard, but be always being able to go go in and go out very quickly. Because we got the fame out, you got the shimmy, you got the um Clark can sort of go in and out um pretty fast, but um the count's insta Q back is a very, very um strong assassin tool, allows you to take very risky like um dice, but then instantly Q back to safety kind of thing. So I was able to really do that very well against the Shimbi and and then when I was kind of spacing out the all these in these fights, but anyways, really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments rather here as rather build on me showcase. Thank you as always for all the amazing support, and I'll see you in the next commentary video. Peace.